Over 2,000 football players in Brazil are complaining to the country's main football authority. Stephen Gibbs tells us why in this report. Being a Brazilian professional football player, you might have thought it was a dream job, bestowing near-hero status to anyone who makes the grade in this football-loving nation. But thousands of players say it's not all as good as it sounds. They're in the midst of a protest, signified here by the deliberate delaying of the start of match play. It's a common demonstration now at league games. The players have two main complaints. One is that they're required to play too many matches. Brazilian fixtures are notoriously badly organized. The country's interstate championship and its national championship run back to back with almost no downtime. The players' other complaint is that salaries are too often not paid on time. Some of the league's top stars who call themselves the Common Sense Football Club took the issue to the federation last October. We have handed in a document with five points which we want to discuss and which will benefit Brazilian football. One of the requests was for a guaranteed 30 days off a year. But the players say that after several weeks they still haven't had a response from the football authorities. And with the World Cup fast approaching, the problem is about to get a whole lot worse. During the championship, all club football is being suspended for 45 days meaning there's even less time to play more football. The pressure is on for the authorities to find a solution. This World Cup has provoked many complaints here, from extravagant spending on stadia to bad infrastructure. The last thing the organizers want on top of that is unhappy players. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.